Today is November 22nd, 2006, and this is Scriggity. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. It's time to pig out, bitches. Scriggity. Richard sent us this swimmingly good field report. One evening, late at night, as I was walking by the pool, the starts out like a dollar store mystery novel. The night was dark and cold. It was cold and dark. I noticed a naked man swimming in the heated water enjoying himself. Um, naked man in the pool enjoying himself? How? Forget it. I don't want to know. I thought to myself, why couldn't that be a lovely female? Oh. Yeah, because that's called a fantasy, Richard. And we all know that fantasies are fantasies, meaning not real. Well, since the pool closes at dusk, duty called, and I had to ask him to please finish his swim due to the pool being closed. Hey, wait a second. You're telling me if that was a hot chick swimming in the pool, you would have done the same thing? Oh, uh, um, excuse me, miss. You're gonna have to take your hot naked ass somewhere else to swim, please, because this here pool is closed. <laughs> yeah, right. He was very drunk, confused, or something, and as it turns out, he was not a resident. Well, duh. Who swims naked in their own pool? That way, when people say, Hey, did you see that naked guy swimming in the pool? People are all like, What? Th there are no naked people living here. Perfectly played, if you ask me. He had just wandered off the beach and penetrated our highly secure property for a nice swim. Please never ever ever submit news to Scriggity about a naked man and use the word penetrate to illustrate your point. Thank you. We had a few words and in the blink of an eye he ran off in the dark never to be seen again. A few words that scared him off. Like what? No. I don't want to see a cannonball. Hey, uh, so do you swim here often? So like, is the water really that cold? Why are you swimming in the dumpster? We don't even have a pool. Hey, do you have a uh, naked pool swimming twin sister by chance? I'm so submitting this to Scriggity. <laughs> Hopefully you scared him away and he never comes back. Be careful everyone. Nude swimming people are popping up everywhere. Enough of these jokes, God! Thanksgiving. A time to give thanks. I'm fucking hungry. I'm glad Thanksgiving's tomorrow. I need some goddamn grub. And who doesn't have things to be thankful for? I mean, I know I do. Some fucking potatoes and, like, some... The potatoes that aren't quite potatoes because they're orange. Um, there's lots of things that I'm thankful for. Of course, my grandma's infamous. No, I guess it's not infamous. Famous. We'll go for famous. Famous pumpkin pie. There's, of course, the whole breathing thing. Um, I know a few people that live around the corner uh, at, the, at the local cemetery that aren't doing that. And uh, that's got to suck. Because, I mean, you know, breathing is... Uh... <sighs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I, li I like that. I don't, I don't think I want to give that up. So I'm, very th I'm, I'm thankful to breathe. And... Um... Like rolls or biscuits or something. I really don't know what we eat. Normally, I, I'm kind of picky, and so I just kind of, you know, I get a little turkey and, um, you know, salad. And I'm thankful for raw sushi, for bringing sushi to Arizona and being the first uh, sushi bar restaurant uh, to embrace me and make sushi the my favorite food and what it is for me and 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 uh you know that all that old crap i leave the weird shit alone because all families have got you know like the weird food during thanksgiving and it's like people are all crazy about it because i've been to numerous family gatherings on thanksgiving because you know i got a lot of friends and you know, I've, I've had a few boyfriends. Um. I'm thankful for Captain Morgan for bringing his Puerto Rican rum to the Americas. Because if he didn't, I don't know what my Friday nights would be like without, uh, you know, little Captain. So, anyway, you know, you get invited to their house and it's like, you can't really say no, so you go over there and they've got, like green bean 
casserole topped with whipped cream and bacon bits on top or, you know, like bananas mixed in it or some shit, you know, like some nasty, don't even look at that kind of shit. And they're like, oh, you gotta try some, our family loves it. And everybody's got big heaping piles of it on their plate and you're just... I'm thankful for Kevin Smith for giving us Jay and Silent Bob. You know, it's it's not good. So that you have to worry about. Snoogee boogie noogies. Thank you to Clintus McGintis. I think you're doing a fabulous job. Thank you viewers for checking us out. We'll be back again next Wednesday with a new show. Make sure you send your news to news at scriggity.com and stay scriggity. Thanksgiving. I wonder what Clintus McGintis is doing for Thanksgiving. I wonder if Clintus McGintis knows how to carve a turkey. I wonder if Clintus McGintis eats gravy on his mashed potatoes. Dun dun dun. I wonder what Drew is doing for this beautiful holiday season. What with all his not being able to eat, like, copious amounts of food. I mean, actually, Thanksgiving must be torture for you, dude. All that food. No stomach to put it in. It's too bad.